let's talk about a few ways that we have decided upon to change Kathmandu. First of all, we are deciding to make waterways. So in Kerala, we can see there are waterways where both irrigation canals and boating can be done. So this is a great way to promote agriculture as well as tourism. A dream of ours is to make Kathmandu wealthy. Mining alone can be a major carrier of economic development of our Kathmandu and we can say that because according to latest researches, minerals like coal, iron and limestone are available in the present Kathmandu. But isn't mining a destructor of our environment? Yes, the present technology used to extract minerals pollute air, water, soil and harm the nature. But green mining is an alternative. Green mining is defined as technologies and mining processes that are implemented as a means to reduce the environmental impacts associated with the extraction and processing of metals and minerals according to Natural Resources Canada. Carbon Capture and Storage CCS, is a great example of green mining technique invented and practiced in Canada. CCS is the process of capturing emitted carbon dioxide, transporting it to a storage site and depositing it where it will not en enter the atmosphere. We are planning to apply this method to our benefit and uplift the economy of our Kathmandu. After that, our Kathmandu will help other places carry out green mining. Places like Magdi, Baraha Chetra, Jamarigat and the banks of River Tawa Kola are full of minerals yet to be extracted according to research of Department of Industry. This will help uplift the economy of the nation as a whole. We have also decided upon a business center. Just like the World Trade Center, it will be the tallest in the city and it will be situated at the heart of the city as well, which can be open to all and accessible to all. Office commutes can use the business center for establishing their businesses, doing official work. We also plan to develop the existing stadiums in Kathmandu to make them international level. The principles of ecotourism and sustainable development will also be taken very seriously and will be implemented in all of our tasks. Fossil fuels. We've heard this term repeatedly. So, what are fossil fuels and how does it harm our environment? In simple words, the organic materials obtained from Earth's crust made from decomposing plants and animals are fossil fuels. These fuels take more than a century to be formed, hence they are regarded non-renewable energy. Fossil fuels are burned in order to produce energy. Some fossils we burn daily are petrol and diesel. Others are coal and tar sands. There is a large emission of carbon dioxide when fossil fuels are burned. The carbon traps heat in our, in our atmosphere and causes global warming and climate change. Moreover, the daily use of fossil fuels has become a great threat to future generations. Not only the degrading environment will harm the future generations, lack of fossil fuels may be a great problem to them. Hence, we are planning to completely ban the use of fossil fuels in our Kathmandu. We only plan on using perpetual and renewable natural resources in our Kathmandu. Along with that, there will be complete plastic ban in Kathmandu. We'll try to reduce plastic waste as much as we can, and especially single-use plastic will be not used by any of our civilians because plastic is the main cause of pollution. We've also decided on making two science parks. Science park will include a planetarium and a 3D show every Monday and Thursday. In the present context of Kathmandu, we can see various problems, including managerial and infrastructure problems. In infrastructure problems, we can see problems such as renovation of older houses are not being done. So that makes it very dangerous, especially in an earthquake-prone zone. Along with that, more buildings are made illegally and in clusters, which greatly reduces the possibility of rainwater harvesting in Kathmandu. Along with that, air pollution levels are rising on the daily. That is especially due to the forest fires set in the Shivapuri Nagarjun National Park, which is actually a very regressive older method. Along with that, we cannot see change in people's mindset. We cannot see progressive mindset or the progressive youth. Mostly there are regressive mindsets in Kathmandu nowadays, even with the amount of education. In 
order to solve the problems just mentioned, in our Kathmandu, small eco-friendly community houses will be made. There will be a criteria of leaving a space of at least 3 meters in either front or back of each house. Kitchen wastes will straight go to the kitchen garden and waste will be minimized. The level of pollution will be monitored weekly and if any negative changes, we will take actions immediately. The mindsets of people will be broad, progressive and practical in our Kathmandu.